talking to Yvonne, who volunteered at Shumi School in South Africa. Yvonne, why did you volunteer? I'd retired from work as a manager in a, a large company in the previous March and uh, looked at my life and thought I'd like to do something useful and help other people. And I saw an article in the Daily Mail, just volunteered to go anywhere. Um, the next day, Kate phoned me up from People and Places and um, said that uh, South Africa looked good for me. And we took it from there. What were you doing in South Africa? What, what did you do as a volunteer? Um, I was in the reception class because I'm not a qualified teacher. Um, but over the years, I've always helped at my children's schools and I've looked after my grandchildren. I also help out at my, nurse, my son, grandson's nursery and I go into school helping with reading. So I felt, and I like crafts and doing things with the children. So I felt I was qualified to help in a, a, a reception class or a nursery class. And what were the highlights of that experience for you? I think the highlights was the children themselves. Um, to see the little faces when you brought something new. I took lots of things that my grandchildren had outgrown. Jigsaws, Play-Doh, um, I took puppets and big story books. And they were just, the little faces, they just couldn't believe the things I'd brought. Um, they fought over them to start off with. Um, but I soon got used to calming them down and we had little sessions where they enjoyed doing, playing with everything. And what for you was the biggest challenge of volunteering? I think the biggest challenge um, was actually going out on my own um, for such a long way. Um, the good thing was I'd email Kate had given me details of the volunteers that were going with me. And luckily there were six of us in all going from Heathrow. We didn't actually meet up, so we're all new to each other at Heathrow. Um, but there were a great bunch of girls, and we all got on um, together. And I think once the initial meeting was over, that was it. You know, we settle your nerves. But before that, Kate reassured me that I would be fine. And I think everyone was nervous to start with. And what advice would you give future volunteers? You've got to go with an open mind and. In South Africa, I think you've got to be a bit laid back and just go with the flow. Sit and watch the teachers to start off with. I did that for a couple of days, or well, perhaps one day, then the next day I was left on my own for a few hours. And the children went mad, but um, they were just trying it on. They soon realised they were going to have fun with me. And, and basically that's what it's about. My brief was to learn through play. And I think we did that and the children enjoyed it. It was a good time of year to go for me because it was before Christmas and we did lots of decorating and made cards, um, Christmas cards for the parents, we put pictures on the walls, which they all loved doing. You've been talking to some of the people who are going out as volunteers, what's your advice for them? Just to go with the flow and not expect too much out of it, not to be able not expect to change things um, because it's it's a slow process they've all got the their own systems in but if we can introduce things slowly it, it's great and just enjoy it um, why did you choose to go with people and places um, I'd originally gone through saga and people and places were find it, finding uh, the placements for people and I just got on brilliant with Kate she sorted everything out for me and uh, everything was brilliant, no complaints at all. Thanks very much indeed. It's all right.